Welcome to the Geek Group. I'm Paul Kidwell. And I'm Justin Vachoven. And we're here today playing around with the Tesla coil. And Justin's built this, and what variety is it? This is a solid state Tesla coil based on um, Steve Ward's mini SSTC. Um, what we have here is a basic um, 24 by 4.5 inch um, secondary. It's um, basically a full bridge of MOSFETs, and we have a voltage tripler, so when we feed it 120 volts of AC, we are pushing through 400 volts, 500 volts of DC. All right, and I see you've uh, accoutred it with some nice blue LEDs. Nice touch, by the way. Gives it a nice glow. <laughs> yes, it does. Anyhow, this being a solid state Tesla coil, we can use an interrupter on it to actually pulse it and get mm -hmm. musical notes out. Yep. And uh, what I've done um, is I used a uh, Arduino board. This one here is a S-E-E-E-D-U-I-N-O. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. But anyhow, it's their version of an Uno. Um, it was something I had sitting on the shelves and was able to grab quickly. Mm -hmm. And I developed some software to run on it that takes um, basically sheet music. I have hard-coded uh, some music uh, directly from the sheet music so we can do four-part harmony. And we... Um, I'm not going to get into the process of what I did, but basically we're turning the notes into pulses, and it's running right now, generating pulses, and um, I'm looking at the, the waveform of the notes and looking for when the next uh, waveform is going to hit, and I use that to turn the output on. It's just a straight... Uh, digital output. It's not a sine wave. There's no attack sustain decay. There's nothing like that at all. Uh, it's either turning the coil on or off. So when our pulse is high, the coil is on, and when it's low, the coil is off. So I got a couple of quick pulses there, some off time, and then a qu couple more pulses there. And these pulses are coming at a time where it gets interpreted as a musical note. If we were pulsing at 440 hertz, that would be a A and I'm overlaying multiple notes on top of each other, so we're getting this pulse train here. And it's all handled in software, and I'm going to hit reset as you turn it up so the music will start right with when I release the uh, reset. So set it to where you know it's going to be good. Should be good right around here. Okay, let's see what we get. Well, I think that we got that working fairly well. A lot better um, than yesterday, did Yes, we had an issue with uh, pulse width uh, duration. I was doing something that was a much longer pulse, and that was causing your coil to draw a lot more current. And we've cut the pulse width down substantially now, so it's nice and narrow. And it didn't affect the uh, quality of the song. It didn't make it worse or anything. It actually gave us something better than what we had. Gave us longer arcs, louder sound, and it made my very Happier. Yes, you were <laughs> vibrating a little on you, as I oh, understand. Yeah. So, anyhow, we are going to be improving on this project, getting it a little more together. Um, we're using an optical coupler right now, which is that guy right there. Um, we're going to do something with some fiber optics so the computer section can be a little farther away from the mm -hmm. coil so section. Isolate the whole system so if anything ever so. goes wrong, we don't kill out your board or scope. Yes. <laughs> Well, Justin, I think we did a pretty good job here. Uh, thank you very much for bringing your coil in so we could play around here. Um, we'll try and get some more uh, music videos done to post on the uh, YouTube site. Yep. And uh, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and go to thegeekgroup.org. Uh, become a member, donate. We could use all the assistance we can get.
So thanks, Justin, and yep. we'll catch you next time. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.